Islam, you are not allowed, and even in Christianity, my brother, you're not allowed to worship any other creator apart from who? Jehovah, well, I don't know if you call God Jehovah or Yahweh, I don't know. But depending on what denomination, I don't want to make any assumptions. But what I'm saying, if you worship a God other than the creator himself, you will not receive salvation, my brother. You will not. And the reason why you will not receive salvation is because God is very clear in the Bible okay. as well as the Quran. You use the word salvation. What do you mean by salvation? Right. Salvation means to be saved, right? I know. To, it. Okay. Go on. Saved from yeah, what? Saved from, save from save God's eternal damnation. From what? Eternal damnation. Right. God's eternal damnation is hellfire, right? And that will be the destination for those who do not accept or believe in the words of God. Okay. Right? Okay. In the Quran, I was, let me relate some of the words in the Quran and then we can see some of the biblical verses, right? In the Quran, Allah commands us that we should only worship Him, right? And only render worship to Him. Allah in the Quran says, Innani an Allah, verily I am the Creator. La ilaha illahu. Verily, there's no other God besides me. Okay. So worship me. And establish prayer for my remembrance. So what can we learn from this, right? If you render worship to the Creator and associate no partners with the Creator, then you shall receive salvation. You shall receive... Can you slow down a little bit, please? Go ahead. Please, please tell me what do you mean by Allah? What do you mean by uh, Allah? What do you mean by that? Okay. We, we believe that Allah, Allah is... We, we term the word Allah as God, right? In fact, what do you mean by God? Good. Good that, that, okay. What I'm saying is that God, Allah, in Islam or in Arabic rather, mm -hmm. we use the word Allah that actually reference to God. If, what if, do you mean by God? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain to you. Go on. I'm trying to, I mean, I, am, I, am I saying something that's no, out, no, of the, no. out of the world? Actually, 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 go on, please go on. No, no, okay. I want to hear your you're point. Saying, no, you're saying God. Yes. Now, define to me what do you mean by God? Okay, define God. Right. Let's look at the Quran. We, we look at, when we use the term Allah, right? We mean that Allah is the one and only true God, right? And with the name Allah, we have to look at Allah's attributes, right? As to how he assigns himself, right? With those attributes. And one of them is he ho, 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 Yes, yes. Allah says that he is Al-Khaliq, right? That he is the creator. In fact, there is a surah in the Quran, right? That Allah actually gives his definition as to who he is. Allah in the Quran says, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum. Verily, there is no Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum. Verily, there is no other God besides Allah. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum. La taqduhu sinna tum wa la nam. Neither slumber nor sleep overtakes me. Right. So we believe that God does not sleep. That He has no. We believe that He does have no. He doesn't have a son. We believe that God is independent. And we believe that God is not in need of any of his creation, right? So this is the definition of the creator. We only are supposed to worship the creator and the creator alone. Now, okay. if we look at Christianity Can in reply? contrast, Can I reply? go ahead. You're saying that your God is the creator God, right? Yeah. Therefore, he already has an attribute of a God, not the God, because the God is above any concept, including the concept of how you describe to be a God. All the attributes that you mentioned right. are those of the human description of human consciousness. Therefore, it's not actually the God. You're speaking about the God, the Creator, which the Hebrews spoke about as the Elohim, as the one who created, who, who are pro form of the Creators. That's why in the Old Testament it speaks about, let us create a man in our own image. Right. So you're speaking about a God. No, now, I, I'm not speaking you about... Just, when, you, when you spoke about Creator, you're giving already this a connection. Okay, there's a connection. That's why I ask you, what do you mean by God? Okay. Because the entity that the, that uh, the Christ comes from is above 
any concept cons that is unconceivable to human mind. It's a divinity of its own sustaining its own self without any attributes whatsoever. So the question is, first one, do we believe in the same God? Because what you speak of a God, I could say to you, it's an Elohim realm, which could be purely a, the realm of a God. And also, do not forget that as a Muslim man, you're supposed to follow the words of Moses, Musa, right? Yeah. Can I answer some and of the points? Let me I'll... finish the point. Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. In which you spoke, there's no God but Allah. Then I can tell you, there's only one true God, there's no God but Him. God would never have to say that he'll be the only one. And just to tell you my point is this. Second commandment given by God was, Thou shall not have any other gods before me. Yes, that's right. Therefore, God of Moses clearly states that there are other entities which people call gods. Yeah. However, the message to Moses was very clear, that shall not have any other gods before me. Therefore, you have already a situation where God himself clearly reveals a universe with more than one divine entity, which human beings can perceive as God. Yeah. One of them is to be a creator as a supreme God. And what I'm trying to say to you yeah. that in a Christian uh, understanding, the, the most supreme God is above any concept, including yeah. the concept do of you, creation. Do you believe that Jesus is God? I believe that Christ, the speaking of Christ, yeah. incarnated the body of Jesus, is consubstantial with the Father. Right. And it's a direction in which we can recognize who is the supreme God, not to be deceived do you by believe, any other do you, God. Right, okay. Do you believe that the Father and the Son are co-eternal? Yes, because in fact, in fact, Jesus in his words would say these words, I and my Father are one. Okay, let's examine this, right. I want to go back to the beginning of the conversation, right? Yes. And I'm going to pick up on some of the points that you've raised, right? Now, yes, you're right. Anyone who worships a false god, right? Anyone who worships the, uh, anyone who worships any other deity other than the true God is considered as false worship, right? Now, yes, in the one of the first commandments in the book of Exodus is what that you shall have no other god before me, right? If you look at the Shema, do you know the Shema? Go on. Right. The, no, are you aware of the Shema? Right. The Shema Maybe is I am. I'm just okay. No. Okay. No problem. The Shema is the testification of faith that Jews use in the synagogue, which is what yeah. Shema Israela, Edenai Elohino, Edenai Achad. Hera Israel, the Lord your God, our God is one Lord. Right. Nowhere does it speak of a Trinity. Nowhere does it speak that God is a Triune God. Right. Nowhere does it say that God is a duality. Yes. Do you believe that God's the yes. Trinity? Well, yes. Of course. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Right. So I will argue that you have broken the first commandment as a Christian and I'll tell you why you've broken the commandment, right? And as Muslims, I am trying to deliver, actually give you the good news to come back to that worship of monotheism because I feel that as a Christian you have strayed from monotheism. You have gone into Trinitarianism that Jesus never spoke about. In Mark, okay, let's examine it. In Mark chapter 12, verse 29, what does it say? It says, Hear O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. Who is Jesus? Okay. Hold on one second. Jesus is, who is he paraphrasing from? He's paraphrasing from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4, right? Where it says, Hear O Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. Right. So I want you to explain to me where Jesus teaches the triune nature of God. Let me explain to you. Yeah, please go ahead. First of all, you spoke, you first you spoke about the ancient Hebrews, yes? So you're speaking, allow yourself, allow yourself to relax yourself and consider the frame of time. The incarnation of Christ happened about 2,000 years ago. Therefore, people were not conscious of the divine entering the world. That's one. 
to the divine that entered the world, it can be you can find in the Quran when it speaks, for example, of virgin birth, where there was no actual biological father of Jesus, which you have in Quran. You have to agree with me that it is a divine act. The oh. incarnation of a child into a womb of Mary without biological father. So when did yes? Jesus? Well, hold on. When? Did, I'm, when I'm not finished my point. My okay, point is yeah, that then we have to ask ourselves: So who is his father? Since we all have biological fathers, yeah. and the Quran speaks about the virgin birth that there was no actual father present, we have to ask ourselves: Who is his father? And then for the answer, you have to you have to go to words of Christ Himself, where He says, "My." father who is in heaven so when also when he was a boy in the temple he would say when when he got lost and Joseph and Mary would look for him he would uh, he would say why do you worry I was doing the work for my father so he already was already conscious who his father is in the age of 12 as is written New Testament so we already know who his father is. Okay. That is not a biological man. So it's a divine being. Okay. So what age? What age did Jesus know he was God? What age was he? The divinity. When? Oh, okay. Let me rephrase the question. Yeah. Right. Where does Jesus in the New Testament, right? Yeah. Say, "I am God. Worship me." Because clearly, you believe that Jesus is God and He's one with the Father. You said that He's co-substantial. This is the words you use. Yeah. Right. Where does Jesus categorically say, yeah. without any ambiguity, right, that Jesus says, I am God, worship me? He never Where said, does... worship me. That's it. Case closed. No, wait, wait. no, no, no. Just, <laughs> that's the case closed. Okay. We gave two parts to the question, yes? Okay. Where did he say that he's divine? And where did he say he worshiped me? No, no, no. I asked you, where does Jesus say, I am God? Yes. Right? That's I can number tell one. You. I can tell you. Okay. So first, so to get that and answer. Two, and two, okay. worship me. Okay, so to get that answer correctly, Go ahead. first you have to recognize that the Bible is obviously, it's a, it's a, act of, it's a book that is, was an act of man, where church fathers put together some books and set some books aside. However, these are the words of Christ himself in the book of Thomas, which is very valid because most of the words that are spoken in the book of Thomas is the same as you see in the Gospels and everything in the Bible. And these are the words of Jesus in the book of uh, Thomas. Okay, what does it say? So let me say. Okay. Where there are three divine beings, there are three divine beings. Okay. Where there are two, let me finish, let me, let me finish. No, where there I'm, are two I'm... or one, I am with them. Therefore, in the words of Jesus himself, yeah. he says he is divine because where there are three divine beings, there are three divine beings, whether two or one, I am with them. These are the words of Jesus. And perhaps wait, you did not wait, know wait, it. Hold on, hold on, one second, one second. Perhaps you don't know it, because I understand that your knowledge of Christianity one. Is, okay. purely no, based, no, no, no. is purely based on the Bible and what was given in okay. front of you. However, you need to understand that the scripture is valid, historically proven to be valid. Where does Jesus say that? Where, the see, book of St. Thomas. Bro brother, brother, listen. Yeah. I don't think either you... It's not a booklet. Sorry, uh, not a booklet. booklet. Uh, hold on, one no, second. It's not a either, you, it is a either, brother, you don't understand the question I'm Asking, you asked when he was or, said he's God. Uh, hold on one second, brother. Yeah, one second. Because clearly you didn't give me any evidence. I asked you very specifically, right? Show me in the New Testament yes. without any unambiguity. Yes. Now, let me, let me actually give you definitions of what I'm actually saying. When I use the word unambiguity, I mean that it's not open up to interpretation. Of course. Right. Yeah. So I'm asking you, yeah, clear cut, crystal clear, yeah. right? So, show me in the New Testament where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Okay. What you have cited is not even in the gospel. I'm of asking course. you, show what me. What are you doing right where? now? What are you doing right now is you become self-conscious and fortunate in your own disfavor. No, no. And what happens is, what happens now. is, what happens is, you, you, you refuse to acknowledge what I spoke to you. I never said it was in the New Testament. Okay, what so I where said to you these are words of Jesus where and who are, that are written in the Gospel of St. Thomas. Okay. What are you doing? What are you doing is you're saying you're running The Gospel of St. Thomas? Yes. This is but this is a Gnostic. No, I'm aware. No, no, I'm aware. These, I'm aware. Are, these are just like in Quran. Let me help you to understand where it comes from. You know, like in Quran, you have many passages about Jesus and Mary which are not in the Bible, which you agree. It, because it comes yeah, from the right no, 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 hold on it's one second. You the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, where does it show in... You see, you're the first person that's actually yeah. given me Gnostic writing to demonstrate that where it says 
the, no, but, no, no. but even the run oh, is the first that gives you no sick writings, not me. One second, brother. Hold on, relax. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. One second. What I'm saying to you. Well, he should be using Bible because he's not a Christian. He's using the Bible. What he's saying is it goes one way. You got to be objective. In intelligent conversation, we have the right to speak both ways. Yes, yes, you're right. So I have a right to speak of Quran. Just like you have a right to speak of the I want you to relax, brother. Please, please. I can see. I can feel there's a bit of a little tension. I'm really relaxed. Trust me. Okay. Right. So look, look. I'm asking you from the New Testament, yes. Mark, Matthew, Luke, or John. Yes. Right. The reason why I'm not going to Gnostic works because it's, you know, it can, it's really open up to ambiguity. And plus, I need to, you need to show me in this, in the Gospel of Thomas, where it says this. You have not shown me this. You have given me no page number, no reference point. So therefore, therefore, I am saying to you, let's leave aside what's something that's unclear are you saying that because let's, i did not give you page number or the verse no, 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 number no, 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 no. that's not valid brother, no, that brother, brother, you're saying that there's no. three separate divine I'm, I'm, say I, I, I'm saying that's to you is of not trinity I, i'm showing to you where in the new testament whether it be mark matthew Luke, or john did jesus say i am god yeah. now you said that you he believe said, i and my father are one so okay that. that's number one okay so let's examine this right let's examine this right so i and my father are one can you give me John wrote his gospel in which language? What do you mean which language? Okay, that was taken from John chapter 10 verse 30 mm. where Jesus said, I and my father are one. Okay. Right? John wrote his gospel in what language? What language was written? Probably Greek. Okay. Yes. Yes. Give me the Greek word for that, for that, for the word one in this sentence or in that phrase or in that sentence yes. where Jesus says, I and my father are one. Give me the Greek word used here. Mm. Please do tell me, because I won't remember right now. Okay. Yes. The word used here is henna, right, or hen, which means one in purpose, right? It doesn't mean one in essence. That's it. The reason why it doesn't mean, the reason why it doesn't mean one in essence is because in John chapter 14, verse 28, Jesus said, what? My father is greater than I. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So, so how can there be one in essence but then his father is greater than him. It's because it makes it no sense. It's substantial, and nobody, nobody questions the, uh, nobody questions uh, about the hierarchy. And of course, I'm fully aware when the Christ came, he came to do the will of, of his father. Hold on, hold on. So are you saying to me? That. Hold on. Are you saying that the father and son are actually together? They're united. Yes, they are together. Right. Let me ask you a question then. Is it possible for the son to keep a secret from the father, and the father has no access to that knowledge? No such thing. Why is that? Uh, what do you mean? Why? I thought, hold on one second, let me repeat the question. Is it possible for the son to hold a secret from the father and the father has no access to that knowledge? For what purpose? Uh, any, no purpose. any purpose. Any purpose. I, when you're speaking of human humans or speaking of divine beings? Either. Either. No, no. I cannot think that. Was because we have immortal minds, so let's keep in mind that you operate on the mortal mind with logic and intelligence to be the tools for you to understand. Just a moment. Okay. Where you have divine beings, they do not use either intelligence or logic because everything they say is already internal state, state therefore it exists already in itself. Right. Therefore everything is in the open and clear like the light. Okay. Therefore you cannot really say, can this be hidden? Because so is it possible is, or not? Well, it's the same, it's not possible because, as I said, they were speaking about eternal beings. We're not talking about the mortal You said beings. that they are co-substantial. <coughs> so we're using words. <coughs> what does co-substantial mean? They're, they're of the same essence. They're the same essence. Yeah. What does essence mean? Mm. Essence meaning that, the, that in, in its identity, yeah. in its identity, one can lead to another. Right. So how is it not, so why is it not possible for the sun, right, to access Okay, let me let, let's turn this around. Is it possible for the father to hold a secret from the son and the son has no access to that knowledge? The father now. That's a good question. Again, you're speaking as you're speaking in a mortal way. That makes no My sense. Friend, I'm sorry. Listen to what you no, the reason why I'm asking this, right? Yeah. Because you said that they are co-substantial. That's correct. Right? Co-substantial means oneness in being and in essence. Yes. So I asked you, what does the word essence mean? You said that they're together and one can lead one to another. These are exactly correct. what your yes. words were. Yes. So now, it should be possible according to your worldview, right? For the son to access the father's knowledge and vice versa. That's correct. Yes. However, we see that the Bible doesn't say so. When Jesus was asked about the judgment day, 
right? Yeah. What was Jesus' response to that? Yes, nobody knows the hour. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. No, don't said, say thank you very much. Except, except don't say thank you very much because when you speak those words, you have to be again careful because you're speaking about a state that one is an immortal state. Do not forget, just a moment, please don't interrupt, please don't interrupt, because I'm a conversation. You must understand, I think you should understand, when okay. you speak of divine beings, yes. divine beings do not act, no one knows, because I already told you, it's in, in a world of, inter, of spirituality, eternal world, things are already known. It is not known to you in a mortal state, that's one. Also, do not forget that actually that Christ comes from foreknowledge and forethought. Therefore, anything that will manifest itself is still to come in the physical world is already in Christ that needs to manifest itself through the forethought and foreknowledge. Okay, hold which, on. which, then, which answers to you why nobody knows the hour because it's in the foreknowledge. Does God? Do you okay. understand what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I understand. If something is in the foreknowledge, therefore you can never know the hour because it has to still fulfill itself that which already was been pre-written in your heart before fulfilled itself fulfilled itself and manifest physically on the earth yes okay i understand okay all right so i think uh, personally i don't think you've addressed my point and i'll tell okay, you why i did not understand no it. i understand no i completely understand yeah. but, but i don't you not say that but today yes but i i can say that and i'll tell you why right first of all right you said that jesus is co-substantial that's correct. Yeah, and he shares the same divinity and essence with the Father. That's correct. Right? Is this what you said? That's correct. Okay. So, you said in his mortal state, mm -hmm. right? He didn't know that, correct? That's correct. No, he, what he said, when he spoke, yeah. he, uh, he manifests himself physically as a man. I agree that. I get that. Yes. I understand that. Purely so, as a man. As yes. a man. So no problem. But without so, biological father. Right. So yes. in Jesus' divine state, mm. did he have that knowledge? Which knowledge? The knowledge of the hour. No yes, of course he had knowledge. knowledge. Right. Hold on one second. He so spoke as like a, he was as a, as a by the Jews. Hold on one second. As a mortal, he didn't know. Right? He did know many things. He knew that no, he no, would brother. be crucified. Listen, hour, listen. The, hour, the, the hour, day of judgment. Did Jesus know that knowledge in his mortal state? Yes, he did. That's what he said Jesus. to Judas. That's what he said to Judas. Do what you must. When he knew that Judas no, no, Iscariot brother, would betray him. I don't think him. you understood. I don't think you understood what I asked. Yeah. No. Did Jesus? Yeah. Did he know the hour in his mortal state? Yes, he did. Right. So if that's the case, why did Jesus say, "The only one who knows the hour is the Father"? It's. Well, yeah, yeah. No, no, just a moment. I just think you should moment. think about this. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Let me contemplate what you're no, saying. Think I think I think I think you put you trying to glue together things which are not coming together. No. He spoke. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. When he spoke, the, does not know the hour. He spoke about uh, about the mankind altogether. He did not speak about himself. Somehow you 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 actually thinking that he spoke about himself. He knew about himself, and I tell you why. Because he said before. Let me prove it to you. Go ahead. I'm listening. He said. He said. Uh, before his before his crucifixion and death on the cross, he said, "Father, uh, uh, he said about taking the cup of suffering away from him. He already knew who was he was going to encounter. No, going he knew hour, what he was going to happen. What was going to happen? He knew his hours of death. In fact, he knew uh, he spoke as a child that he would be crucified by the Jews. Sorry. So he already knew those things. So it's not like I'm, he didn't know about himself. No, no, I'm going to read. Spoke about the I'm going to read it to you. Very specific. He's talking about the hour." The hour, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. God is supposed to be all knowing, correct? He cannot be ignorant at any point in time. Yeah. yeah. So he prayed. Right. So when, hold, when hold on one second, brother. Hold on one second. Right. So I've got the verse up, right? That's why I asked you. In Jesus' mortal state, yes. did he know the hour? You said yes, he did. Yes. Yeah. That's right? why he asked to keep that, keep, keep, to take the cup of suffering away from him. Brother, no problem. However, let's look at what the text says, right? Go on. In Matthew twenty-four, verse thirty-six, he says, "About that day." Or the hour, no one knows, right? Which day? Which day? Listen carefully. No, because right? you take you have to go back a little bit. You're talking about judgment. Yeah. You're talking about last judgment. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's not the same thing. Hold on, hold on one second. You see, that's a manipulation. I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Go and, on. And let me finish. Right. Okay. If you want me to go above the that's verse, right, above okay. The last judgment. No You're problem. Speaking about the last judgment. Jesus is basically talking about preparation. That's, there are two hour. different that's things. It. Yeah. Preparation of the day yeah, of judgment. Right? No. Yeah. He, he spoke about the last judgment that no one knows the hour. Let's go. Let's go. Including the sun. The sun doesn't know no. except the father. No. He speak. He spoke. That's what I meant. 
think? Please read Mark 13, no. 32, please. I mean, it's, it's Mark, categorically clear. Matthew yeah, it's Matthew 24. Clear. It's Matthew 24. Still clear. Yeah, you, I don't know why you put your own interpretation on it. Let's go to Matthew 24, verse 36, right? You know, you know what I'm thinking? This is so, I think they believe that G Jesus hasn't matured enough to become God yet. That's what I, I think. They think it's God's yeah. Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, let's start from verse 32. So let's get context, right? Because you said I might be taking that out of context. All right. From the fig tree, learn its lessons. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you may know that summer is near. So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near. What things? And the very... Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Right? So also, when you see all these things, you know that he is near at the very gates. Truly, I say unto you, the this generation will not pass away to he until these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. That's correct. Right? Now Jesus says, verse 36 says, But of that day and hour knows no one, not even the angels. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. Yeah? Sorry. Uh, not even the angels of the heaven, nor the sun. Who's the sun here? No, I'm asking. Okay. Yeah, no, the son, go on. Okay. Who's the son here? Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll continue, yeah. and then I'm going to ask yeah. you, yeah. right? The the father, but the, the father the only, mm -hmm. right? The father only. As were the days of Noah, so will be the coming of the days of the son of man. Mm -hmm. Now, it says, of that day, not even the angels in heaven, That's right. nor the son, mm -hmm. but the father only. Mm -hmm. So, according to Jesus' own words, Jesus is the... Is, does not know the hour. Now I asked you earlier, this is the reason why I asked you this question, because you said that Jesus is co-substantial right. and one in essence with okay. the Father. Yes. Clearly Jesus is claiming that he's not co-substantial. Well actually I can explain to you how it is. Because clearly he doesn't know this. Well, so, so Mike, hold on one second. Whether Jesus be in his mortal state or his divine essence, Clearly, Jesus did not know this knowledge, even in his divine essence, as, a, as someone who believes that Jesus is divine in his essence, only the Father knew. So that's why I said, is it possible for the Father to hold a secret from the Son and the Son will have no access to that knowledge? It's not, about, it's not, it's not about holding a secret. And when you speak those words, I hope that you prepare to listen what those words really mean. Uh, earlier we spoke about the uh, book of John when I told you when, he says, uh, when Jesus says that he and his father are one. Also speaks the very beginning of this uh, Gospel of St. John. It speaks that the world uh, was created through, through God, meaning through Christ. That the, God was, that the word was with God and the word was God and everything was created through word. Through, uh, and that's how the word became to existence. Now Christians do believe that the word is a manifestation of Christ and everything in it, including angels, eons, all the heavenly entities were brought forth through Christ's being into existence. Yes. Because the same way, like you cannot really tell where you come from really, yeah. you, our consciousness does not go that far to know where we really come from, is the same way with the angels, they also do not know where they really come from. And eons and, and all the other supreme beings that are part of the universe, they cannot know it the same way like you don't know where you really come from. They don't know it either because they all were created through Christ's being. Okay. Now, however, even if the Christ brought forth into existence all the beings, angels, and humans, and every living thing, only that, is, that creation can only be completed once it fulfills, once the God fulfills its task within it. This is the reason, that's what Christ cannot know it. Because only because he facilitated the universe into existence, yeah. doesn't mean that he himself will be the one to finish it because he was not the one in the first so place all to bring it forth. He's, all -knowing. he's okay. all knowing because everything uh, came no, through. Wait, wait, hold on one second. Thing. What so you're doing, what you're doing is something called eisegesis, yeah, right? right? So what? what you're doing is called eisegesis and not exegesis. And I'll tell you what the difference is, right? Eisegesis is that when you are providing an explanation that doesn't exist into the text. And you are, you are. I just told you that uh, the first uh, sentence uh, of of uh, Saint jo of the book of John. Hold on, we will discuss that. Hold yeah. on one second. Yeah. What you, the explanation you gave is called eisegesis because the explanation you gave does not fall within the text. I what I want that. from 
How do I know that? Yeah, you're not Christian. How no, do you know that? It doesn't, I don't have to be Christian. Yes, to, the same way I had to be Muslim. To wait, 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 one in, second, in Quran, one second, right? one second. Right. I could study a subject. So I right? can study Quran, right? Oh, brother, hold on one second. Yeah, go on. Relax, relax. Yeah. Just because I'm not a Christian doesn't mean I don't have a, a, a world view on Christianity. But you're making or, a statement by saying that what I'm but, saying no, is no, not no, there. No, the reason, no, the reason I'm, yeah. listen. So far, I cited nothing but evidence. Correct. I did no not. I did not cite. Hold on one second. I did not say anything that falls <coughs> outside the explanation of the gospel. Well, actually, I quoted you. Hold on one second. I quoted you, right, Matthew, where Jesus said, "Of that day, of that hour, knows no man." Right? Is that not within the confines and context of the Bible? Of course, it is. I'm quoting. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm quoting the direct words of Jesus himself. So yes. for you to turn around and say to me, well, because you're not a Christian, you, you don't know. I think that's quite arrogant because you can know something about Islam that I might not know and I yeah. could research it. We can go back to it, yes. Yes, so, so what I'm saying to you, this is an exchange. We're here to learn, right? You can teach me something okay. <coughs> that I don't know okay. and vice versa. Okay. That's how I see it, okay. right? So what I'm saying to you, right, is that I've given you <coughs> a direct verse mm -hmm from the Gospels where Jesus says, I don't know that knowledge, meaning the day of judgment. You are still saying that Jesus knows this knowledge. And yes. this is like, to me, I see, I think that this is like disobedience to Jesus because Jesus is telling you verbatim, hey, I don't know the day of judgment. And you're saying, yes, you do. If Jesus came today in Hyde Park and stood before you and he said, my friend, I don't know when the day of judgment is. And you'd be like, yes, you do, because you're God. Yeah. That's what, in other words, that's what no, you're exactly. actually, yeah. Again, no, with, with all respect, but that's what you are actually mouth. saying. You may, no, this you is how are, you're receiving it. No. That doesn't mean no, that's what I'm no, saying. No, no, you, yes. no. It depends how you receive things. Hear me out, let me tell you why. It speaks about, when it's, you also mentioned it's written about Noah, yes? Sorry? You mentioned, you read about Noah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. What does, what does it say? It says that one epoch ended and you began, right? So something ended with Noah, uh, Noah something started, because Noah was the one uh, to survive the flood, right? So one epoch ended and the new one began, would you agree? Okay, let's go yeah. for it. Yeah. Would you also agree that Jesus would say these words? That this heaven and this earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. he said that, he said that in the Okay, Matthew. Yeah. therefore, when he said that his words are above any epoch of human existence altogether, that means, so that means right he here, he says, yeah. that means what he says, that whatever he says, he, he the only thing that he, he said, that the last judgment yeah. upon the mankind, not upon himself, will happen to him, but upon the mankind, will be the act of his father. That doesn't mean that in any way I'm contradicting uh, anything that's written in the Bible. I'm trying to make up the story. Does what I'm Jesus saying, know the day of judgment? Yes or no? Yes or no? Again, as, as I just told you, 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 have, to, you have to slow down your sense. mind so you can make sense. I've, I've, when Jesus no. says, my words, that this heaven, this earth will pass away, because this heaven and this earth, what means heaven? Muslims do believe that you go to heaven, right? Okay, I think you're. No, 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 no. Do Muslim people feel you say go to heaven? I, I feel. Yeah. Hold on, no, brother. Muslim people can I feel, answer, please I, I, answer. I blame you. Because I want to show you where yeah. we have oh, a oh, misunderstanding. Hold on one second. Don't worry, man. I want to show you this misunderstanding. I, I'm trying to answer. I'm trying to answer. Yeah. Do Muslims what, what, believe in heaven? Hold on one second. One second. One second. Hold on one second. Hold on. No diversion. Hold on one second. He read the words, not me. Brother, hold on one second. One second. Yeah. Yes. We do believe that we'll go to heaven. However, however, however. You're not addressing the point I've raised, right? Yeah. I've asked you, right? You said, and I'll repeat what you said back. And yeah. if I'm wrong, you correct me. Yeah. You said to me that Jesus and God are co-substantial, yeah. right? Yeah. This is according to the Athanasian Creed. Have you heard of the Athanasian Creed? Yes. Right. The Athanasian Creed states that the Father and the Son are co-substantial. They're co-eternal. And they're same, they share the same divine essence and the same divine knowledge. That's correct. Right? Now, if this is, this is by the church fathers, okay. this is not this this is not defined by Jesus, by the way, okay, yes, because correct. you're supposed to follow Jesus, not the church fathers, mm -hmm. exactly. which which actually shocks me because it makes me wonder: Are you a, a Christian following the church fathers, or are you a Christian following Christ? Yeah. Exactly, right? that's what we've been misunderstanding. Oh, 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 yeah. So what I'm saying to you, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, 
did not know when the day of judgment is. He says, not even the sun. Now, earlier you said, sorry, earlier you said to me, Jesus knows the hour. He knows this. You were so insistent. Now you're, now you're, in, you're insisting that Jesus knows this. He spoke about his hour of his death on earth. And he doesn't even he doesn't know himself. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, he doesn't so, say that. Though. Yes. When, this is, let this me is it about again. him. This is about when Jesus, when I'm saying to you, that when I was saying to you earlier that Jesus knew about his upcoming crucifixion and his death. No, he doesn't. He, knew he doesn't that. say that. Sorry, he doesn't. Of course he does. Where, he speaks about the preparation for the hour. Where, 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 hold on. Where in this verse, in Matthew chapter 24, does it say that explanation that you gave just now? What do you mean? Post. Okay. What explanation? What explanation? Right, okay. Did you, right. You just said just now, right? What did you say just now? That he knows that he knew that he'll be crucified That's right, and right. he'll be killed by the Jews. Okay, good, yes. good, good. Where did where is that explanation in Matthew twenty four? It's not in Matthew twenty four. It's not about this is this, this is the exactly words. my point. Well, let me tell you where. Let me tell you where. No the, let me tell you words of Jesus okay. from New Testament. When he said to his disciples that he will be crucified, his closest disciple, he says, No, it cannot be. To which to which Jesus said to him these words, Get away from me, Satan, because you do not understand the, word, the, the, the ways of heaven, of heavenly world. Therefore, it tells you right there that a human mind, I'm just trying to tell you again, human mind cannot comprehend the foreknowledge, cannot comprehend forethought, and this is how Christ was operating while incarnated. Even his closest disciple, to whom Christ later on would, would entrust building the church on earth, could also would reject, say, no, okay. it cannot be. Brother, brother with, all, with, all, with all due respect to you, but you, I don't think you haven't addressed the point I have raised, right? So I, so I have to concede at this point that you possibly don't know the answer to it, or you just don't yeah, want to answer. It's don't one of the two. No, I because just, it's not about looks. Like I just told you that the passage in okay. which in which Jesus okay. spoke about his I, no, I, well, I, I have sh no, I'm not talking about crucifixion. I'm talking about the hour, the hour when 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 the hour of judgment will come, right? I've just explained to you and I've showed you and I've read it okay. to you that Jesus did not know this information, yeah. but yet you as a Christian, my brother, you claim that Jesus that knew this. I see, so, I see what so, you mean. Okay, so, so what you so, saying, so what I'm again, saying to you, Okay, no, stop right there. I acknowledge what you're, you're saying. I acknowledge what you're saying. When he speaks about the hour, you actually, again, you actually have uh, no offense because I fully understand where you're coming from. Again, he's speaking from purely mortal mind, thinking that it's a clock, and at this particular yeah, hour the of the clock, Remember, oh, just a moment, second. just a moment. At this particular hour of the clock, there will be a judgment day. However, let's agree that again we're speaking of eternal beings, and eternal beings do not operate by hours of the human understanding as you understand. Therefore, when he speaks, when he speaks about hour, has nothing to do how you understand to be at noon or the three o'clock it's going to yeah, happen. One thing that you know yes? for sure, one thing that you know for sure is God is not mortal, correct? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, fine. Yeah. And you believe that Jesus is God. God is supposed to be all-knowing at all times. He cannot be ignorant at any one point okay. in time. Right. Irrespective whether his essence is divine okay. or mortal. Okay. Yeah. Again, so when this Jesus is... says mm -hmm. of that day, yeah. of, no, no one knows, no man, not even the angels, nor the son, only the father knows the hour. If he is supposed to be God, why doesn't he say he knows the hour? <coughs> Excellent point. Thank you. This is precisely where, where, where I suggest before you go to Christianity, go back to Quran and ask yourself this question. Why did God have to ask Iblis this question? Oh Iblis, why don't you bow down to my creation? Because, because, because if the God is all-knowing, if the God is all-knowing and he created Iblis, why we have to pose the question? Because if he created Iblis, Therefore, he knew why he wouldn't bow down. If he, if he genuinely didn't know, that means that actually Iblis is beyond his control and has nothing to do with the God, no, the, no, no, the Supreme no, no. God. See, because no, no, no. what I'm showing you, no, I'm just showing is, you not is, knowing no, in a human no, way. No, no. I'm trying to show you something. No, no. God is asking Iblis, yeah. why don't you bow down? That doesn't down? mean he didn't know. Of course yeah. he didn't. That doesn't mean he didn't know. Okay, if he didn't but, know. But exactly. You, okay, wait, exactly. So, 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 Therefore, it's a child's play. No, 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 no. It's a theater. It's a theater. Sorry, it's a puppet no, theater sorry. where God says, has, a, has a Satan over here.
here and says, oh, you didn't bow down? I knew you wouldn't. That's a theater. No, again, you have to think, you have to understand something. In divine world, in divine world, okay, that the mind is operating. Uh, sorry, can I, can I, can I, I, no, I, I, I just want to respond, hold, hold on one second. I want to, I want to respond to this, right? When God said to, okay, personally, I think we've just shifted the conversation. No, we haven't, because it's about not knowing. It's about not knowing. And I'm showing you, and I'm showing you, I'm trying to show you that not knowing in a divine way is not the same way as not knowing in human way. That's my point. I'm trying to show. I'm not against Quran. In fact, in fact, I'm trying to show you something that the God's question poses. Wait, poses something very significant in Quran, and I wish you contemplate on. Which is the verse of Iblis? Repeat it. Yeah, the question, the verse of in the Quran about Iblis is very clear. Which this is what I was trying to show you. Oh, Iblis, why won't you bow down to my creation? Now here's here's the conflict. If you believe, no offense to you, like he, that is a child's play in which even God created him, even God created him. The verse doesn't say that. Yes, you're, it you're, no, it doesn't. Please read. I, I've read it. The Arabic, the, the Arabic word what Allah used in the Quran is Fasajadu. Fasajadu illa iblis. <coughs> Allah says, Fasajadu illa iblis, Aba wa stakbar wa kana min al kafirin. That's the word that's used. So basically, in here, Allah told Iblis, bow down, yes. right, right, he said bow down, he by choice chose not to bow down, by choice, what you said is not in the Quran, I just wait, 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 uh, hold on, please read that hold on one second, I, I quoted it to you, so it's Allah no says, question, hold on one second, Allah commanded, Yes. It wasn't a question. No, he commanded no, all of them. We, we oh, hold on. Jesus one second, one second. Yes. Allah commanded the angels, <laughs> That's right. as well as Iblis, <laughs> to bow down. <laughs> That's right. And right? Iblis refused to do so. Right. To which God posed the question to Iblis. What was the question? Why won't you bow down to my creation? Where does it say that in the Quran? In the Quran. It's Where? Show me. <coughs> I don't have Quran. You should have it in your heart. No, 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 no. Hold on. Where in the Quran <coughs> does Allah question why, why did you not Anyone, bow down? Any Muslim fellow here knows he just, it? He just you just made the claim. You, you just, just made the claim. So you're not going to take it no, out? No, no, no. You're, you're the, the first Muslim that you don't want to take out the Quran. He just quoted the Quran, yeah. but yet you're asking him yeah. where he was in the You only took first part of the hold, of hold that on. passage. Hold on, one second, one second, hold on, one yeah. second. Let's, let's, let's digest this. Yes. And then exactly. we're going to move back onto the Trinity, because yes, I think you've shifted. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. let's 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 right. start. No, oh, hold on one second. I'm going to address the point. I'm, yeah. I'm going to address the point. Yeah. Relax, please. Yeah, I'm relaxed. Relax. I'm yeah. having fun. I hope you too. I, I, I am. I am. <coughs> Good. I'm enjoying it. Good. Right. So the Arabic word he uses is fasajadu illa iblis. Right. God commanded iblis, right, to prostrate himself to Adam. By the way, just for your understanding, the prostration that was used here is not worship. Right? It's out of respect. I'm aware of it. Right, yeah. good, good. I just need to clarify that, right? Yeah. So Allah says, Fasajadu illa iblis, bow down. The Quran also says, Aba wa stakbar, that he became a min al kafirin, and he became a disbeliever, right? Did God reply so let's, to it? So let's hold on one second, one second. If Allah questioned Jesus, sorry, if Allah questioned Iblis for his actions, does it mean that God doesn't know? Exactly. exactly. That was my point. No. That's not, no, 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 no. In the divine, my point is this. Hold on. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, but, good. No, no, but hold on. It's, 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 it's actually a poor point, And I'll tell you why. It's a poor point. No, it's actually, it's more I, to I'm it. I'm going to explain to you why it's too. a poor point. Go on. Right? Now, let's say, for example, right, I said to you, I want you to go to the shop for me and go and buy me a packet of crisps. Go on. Right? And you said to me, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. I I I got things to do. I got I have to go to work at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. Right? Now I mind I'm now if if I know the if I know the knowledge of the future, I, I could determine the reason why you don't want to go because you have work, right? It doesn't necessarily mean I don't know the reason why. It just means that you have chosen, for whatever reason, you chose not to go to the shop. For whatever reason, that could be because you need to go to work, that could be because you need to go home and catch something. 
or catch the bus or something like this, right? It doesn't mean, just because I ask you the reason for something, exactly. it doesn't necessarily mean I don't have the knowledge why I'm asking exactly. you this question. So hold on. Exactly. So now, let's bring it back to I'm Jesus. To, no, Let before me, you go to no, Jesus. No, no, hold on one second. Let's agree. No, because I want to establish a parameter what it means not knowing in a divine world before you go back to wait, Jesus. Wait, hold on. Yeah, so wait, wait. Because yeah. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Okay, go on. What are you saying to me that in fact God, from what you're saying, played Iblis. He played him. He knew he was not going to bow Allah down. Even says, Therefore, he played him. And that is that is mistaken interpretation of Quran. In fact, one has to understand that not knowing in the divine scripture, whether it's in Quran or in the New Testament, or in fact, Old Testament, the, the story of Job, <coughs> has nothing to do with not knowing the human way. One has to understand that the things unfold, <clears throat> okay, unfold in a divine way, which is beyond our comprehension. I think, I, I think there's something that you may, there's something that you're lacking here, right? <coughs> and I'll tell you what that okay. is. Comprehension. It's free will, right? Yeah, correct. Free will. It's free, free will. will. Absolutely. So you're saying that the no, hold, hold, free will. hold on one second, one second, because you made a terrible mistake here, and I'll tell you why. Right? Was it your choice to come here today? Of course it was. Right. Were you forced to come here? Nope. You, so you came out of your own free will, yeah? Yes. Right. And you chose out of your free will to engage with me, right? Sure. Correct. Right. Yeah. No one forced you, right? No right. One. So now, when Iblis was asked, mm. right, prostrate thyself to Adam, uh -huh. right? Did he have a choice or did, was he forced to do it? Well, according to you, no. according to you, listen to the he question. didn't have a choice. No, listen to the question I'm asking. Remember, we, are, we have free will. We are free will agents. You right? are, no, just a moment. No, brother, just listen. Moment. listen. Here's where you're making a mistake. Can I tell you where you're making a mistake? It's very simple. I'll explain to you really fast. Why am I making a mistake? You, do you agree that you're in a mortal state? As mortals, we have free will. No, no, that's not my question. Try to answer my question. Do you believe? Clarify. Do you believe that you're in a mortal state? I told you. I, just, I, I don't think you're understanding my answer. No, no. Exactly. Yes, yeah. we are. Brother, listen. Are. You are in a mortal no, state. No, yes. I, I, yes. I just said to okay. you, as a mortal, right? Mm -hmm. As a mortal state, we have free will. Do no, you, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying oh. to you, you see, you're going ahead. I want to take step by step right. without trapping you. I promise. I'll look it up. I'm not. So, okay, yeah. So my, my point is this: you are, in, so am I, in a mortal state. Would you agree that we're also in evolving state that we understand more and more? We are all increasing in knowledge as that we means are. We evolve, as a, yeah? Listen, listen. We all evolve in knowledge as time yes. passes. Exactly. But listen carefully. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to answer the question. But wait, because I want to make my point here. Can the I, free I just, will that you're speaking about in human being is embedded in the sorry. evolving nature of a mortal human being, which is not the same thing that a state of Iblis is in, that he no longer evolves. Iblis is a fixed being, it's an it's a eternal being, which is fixed. Therefore, the free will cannot apply the same way into a no, fixed no, no, eternal no, 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 being that, that applies no, no, to a mortal Because I feel that you've completely diverged to, the, to, to, to Iblis. Right. So what I'm saying to you, God has made a creation that willingly obey God without no free will. And that is the angels. God has created a separate creation that they obey God in what he tells them to do. By every command, when God says something, they listen to him. They, they, they listen to the command of God and that's the angels. However, we have a separate creation which is insan, right? Allah, in the Quran, Allah says, I have created man and the jinn in order that they may, may, is the magic word here, may worship me, right? Mm -hmm. So Allah created a separate creation that has free will, mm -hmm. right? So God created the jinn with free will and he's also created Iblis out of free will. Mm -hmm. So therefore, in the Quran, right, when Allah says in the Quran, Fasajadu illa iblis. It's a command, mm -hmm. right? Prostrate thyself to Adam. It was a command, but it was also it was it was down to iblis to follow that instruction. Mm -hmm. But due to the nature of how Allah created iblis with that free option, right? He chose willingly to disobey that commandment. Mm -hmm. 
right? So no one was forced. Did did Allah did Allah say, hey, if you don't do it, I'm going to punish you? It was a it was a command and it was a request to frustrate thyself. Mm -hmm. right. So this is why if we go back to the Arabic language, it makes it more clearer. Fasajadu illa iblis abba wa stakbar wa kana min al kafirin. That he became a disbeliever when the Creator told him to do what prostrate himself. Mm -hmm. So it was a he choice. Okay. However, now I want to go back to what I was saying before. When Jesus, yeah, when he did not know the day of judgment, because it says here what? <laughs> not only he says the angels don't know, the son doesn't know. The son is who? Jesus. He said the son doesn't know. The only one who knows the hour is the father. So this completely debunks and refutes exactly. your position exactly. that Jesus is God. Jesus no, cannot. He does. It, it does and I'll tell you why. It doesn't. Brother, you have just said to me early in the conversation, and I'm going to repeat word for word what you said, mm -hmm. right? Jesus right? said. You said to me mm -hmm. that what? That Jesus is co substantial with the Father. That's correct. Right? That he is co equal and co he, has this, he shares the same divine essence of the Father. That's correct. Right? Did you of say this? The Father, yes. Of the Father, no problem. Yes. They're not the same, but he shares right. the essence of the Father. Yes. Right. So I, so I said to you, I said to you that Jesus did not know that knowledge, right? Clearly from the, from the text itself. Now, when Jesus was on the cross, now, think about this for a second. Mm -hmm. When Jesus was on the cross, yeah. he said, Eli, Eli, why have you forsaken me? Yes. Why have yes. you forsaken me? Yes. If Jesus and the Father are one person, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Was he talking to himself? No, of course. Can I tell you what that means? No, you see, one, well, actually you don't. Actually so, you don't. So, see, you when somebody, when somebody, speaks, when somebody says, you know what it means, perhaps you, perhaps oh, you should listen no, okay. and see if you confirm. Own, what, no, 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 no. What no, I would no, like from the, you, the hold words, on, the words of Jesus. What, are very no, hold simple. on one second. What I would like from you, with all due respect, yep. can you give me an answer that's from the Bible? From the Bible. Yes. I don't want you yes. to go yes. to yes. down yes. to Southampton and London. Jesus said these words: "I am the light. I am the life. I am the way." Meaning that. Jesus came, the divine mean? came to be a human being and he showed that every single human being will face with doubt in the Father, including Muslims. That we all find ourselves in the, in the moment of death where we're going to ask ourselves when the death's going to come upon like us, we're going to ask ourselves, he's a Gnostic Christian. is it, is the death is this is this it is god really there because we're gonna go through a realm of death therefore when christ speaks those words he says to every person look what's gonna happen to us we all gonna have doubt in god doesn't matter whether you're muslim jew or christian we all gonna have doubt if you want to tell me if you want to tell me that you want to you a person of reason any person of reason has to accept that we all this is a system of faith and belief not certainty not certainty the certainty is death okay. we all gonna encounter brother, death would please. you agree would you agree brother please i'm begging you answer my question i am so when I'm he says to you how the human being is going to experience death then we all gonna have the moment of doubt every single person if you want to tell me that you are a muslim person without any doubt upon this your death that the god really exists perhaps it's just a bunch of atoms and so on if you want to tell me they have no doubt whatsoever there are two explanations either you are truly divine already connected with god or that somebody is really mad and has no real sense of reality yeah, yeah part of doubt is part of human nature whoever does not believe is a pure liar come on Boss, please yeah. You're love. Down. You know what? You 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 are nice. You are a nice guy. Out. Exactly. Yeah. Out, yeah. But we so have so Jesus I'm says. Well, so so Jesus said, no, "Why no, have no, you no, forsaken no, me no, upon the cross?" No, he he no, he manifested no, human no, doubt no, in a human no, being. No, he no, says no, a human being. That's so, it. Sorry, just remind me your name again. Jacek. Jacek. Yeah. Where's this name from? It's a nice name. Where's Polish? Oh, you're Polish, yeah? Okay. Jakszymasz. Dobrze. Dobrze. So I wanted to show you. Please. I I. I feel yeah. Yeah. that you haven't really answered my question, brother. Perhaps you not have the way you want it And maybe we just have to dis agree to disagree. Yes, yes, perhaps not the way but you want it. But is it possible that the answer that you want, hold on, 
Is it possible we are, we are that the answer that you want yeah? is something like okay. some but catering? It's like going to McDonald's and saying, I already know what I want. No, 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 no. And what, what I'm saying to you, what I'm trying to say to you, when I was still showing you about the unknowing and divine, it's not the same as no unknowing in the, in the mortal yeah. state, and also going back to it. That's what I was trying to, uh, trying to show you. Then the question of Iblis, if I'm not, I did look, I bought my own Quran, I went through Quran, I, I put attention to it, but wait, I want to say something. If I'm not mistaken, the question was posed. And the question in Quran signifies something. Every single word is a holy word, and, and question is a holy question as well. Yeah. One has to ask oneself a question. Why would God have to pose a question? Good question. Yes, because otherwise the free will no longer exists. No, 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 yeah? no, no. It's for Iblis to make the confession why he didn't worship. Not that Allah did not know. Yes, but because, no, wait, wait. Allah in the previous verse says he was of the arrogant. Exactly. Allah knew it before, but he wanted okay. Iblis to confess. That's, well, that was my point. point. If he was arrogant, he created something no, no. arrogant. No, no, now, no, 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 now you've been expecting an answer. You respect, you're being stubborn now because no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he's speaking about the condition of Iblis. He already knows the condition of Iblis that he's arrogant, he's among the kafir, right? He's a disbeliever. Allah wants Iblis to confess about himself. I did not want to bow down to Adam because I'm better than him. Yeah. You created me from smoke to flame of fire, whereas yeah. you created me from dust. Let's it's not about that Allah is ignorant. Allah subhanahu already knows the condition. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We are closer to you than, than your juggler vein. Allah knows. But Allah wants Iblis to confess. Why didn't you worship? Why why, would, sorry, why didn't you prostrate okay. to Adam? Uh, can so I give it? I, I want to give it. So, what he, so really what Allah did is he forced confession no. from Iblis. No. 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 Brother, no, no, hold on one second. I, let, let me let me give an example. Let me give you a good example. Let me give an example. Go on. Bless you, man. Sorry to raise my voice. I'm just trying to articulate my point. English language. No, 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 no. Hold on one second. Let, 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 let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, you are you are a student in a university, right? Let's say you're a student in Oxford, right? And you're studying for your PhD, right? But every single day, rather than studying, right? I'm a teacher. I'm not, I'm not saying that's what I am. I'm just saying, just imagine I was a teacher, yeah. right? And I said to you, 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 rather than studying for your PhD or your masters, you go out clubbing every weekend. You have fun outside of your working hours. You don't spend any time studying. You don't do anything that signifies to your workload, right? What, what, okay. And then you have another student who is studious, who studies, mm -hmm. right? He studies for all his exams mm -hmm. and he knows exactly what he's doing in his exams. Mm -hmm. What are the chances, what is the probability of the person who goes out partying and having a good time? What is the possibilities of them failing versus the person, right, mm -hmm. who studies and who studies? Yes. What is the probability of okay. the person who's part, who, who's studying, mm -hmm. passing and the person who doesn't is not studious failing what's the probability obviously the one who doesn't study has much higher chance of failing right however oh, hold on hold on Let however, me, i haven't finished my example okay right so you agree with me right that the probability right of the person who's not studious will fail right and that's because he is not studied and he's not equipped with that knowledge because he doesn't he's not doing anything in effort to study what he needs to study yes right now whose fault is that you have the choice, you have the free will, right, to study and become studious and pass the exam. Who are you going to blame? Yes, okay. Hold on one second. Are you going to blame the teacher? Now, I might know as a teacher what my students are like. Yeah. I can tell as a, as a teacher who are studious, who are non-studious, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So I can give you a probability factor who is going to pass, who is going to fail, yes. right? Can I reply? You, uh, one second, okay. one second. So you fail your exams, and I knew you were going to fail that exam because you did no studies to it. Whose fault is it? Is it my fault? Because I knew you were going to fail because you did nothing to contribute to the studies. Mm -hmm. I knew you was going to fail. Mm -hmm. Are you going to blame yourself or are you going to blame me? Well, again, I hear what you're saying. Can I reply now? Yeah, go ahead. Again, we discussed the eternal being. Right, you're not answering my question. I am. I am. I'll tell you how. When you speak of going to school and university, you're speaking of somebody who doesn't know things, and, it's a, and meant to take a path of learning, acquiring knowledge. Yes. Therefore, there was something that still has, possesses no knowledge whatsoever. However, his manifestations about passing exam and manifest himself 
as a, as a successful student, yeah. is somebody who first denied, was empty and became full by becoming a student that was successful. However, we're speaking of eternal beings. Not, Hold on, let me finish my point. I heard you. Iblis is an eternal being. No, He's not, already not, fixed not, in his not, manifestation. No, 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 no. He is, I tell you why, I tell you how. Because he's already he is already recognizable yeah. by the spiritual world by who he is in his manifestation. No, 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 no. Yes, Brother, you can you, always you, you as a Muslim people you know anyway, you, you go hold on. Wait, wait, hold you already on. know you already know you can recognize the works of Satan. You know who he is. And you know how he manifests himself because his manifestation yeah. is is already fixed, even if he's eternal. Now you cannot tell me that somebody who's already has eternal nature has to learn something I, new. I, I would like to correct you because on that is that you're, makes you're, no you're sense. You're making a very That's very illogical. You're making a very you're, bad. Hold on, let me finish my point. Yeah, on, you're applying a human logic into a divine state, which makes no sense whatsoever. That's okay. What you're doing. Hold on one second. With Jesus you you are divine. you okay. I just have to conclude at this point that you haven't answered my question, right? And I, I, I just feel that maybe we have to agree to disagree. Yeah. But so let you, you, no, no, hold on, brother, no, please. Just please, please. Uh, How would you recognize, brother? Please, I, I'm trying to answer you. I'm really yeah, trying. Yeah. Right. So what, what I'm, what, what I'm saying to you, right, is that I gave you an example of yeah. a student, right? which is purely mortal. Wait, state. wait one second. Hold on, yeah. hold on one second. I gave an example of a student who's studious and yes. he studies every single day, yes. and he is he. Attends all his. Hold on he one progresses. second. One second. He attends all his classes. The chances of him, the chances of him passing his, his exams are very high. Because he progresses. Versus, yes. Hold on. Because he progresses. Hold on one second. Yeah. Allow, allow me to finish. Versus someone who's non-studious, yeah. the chances of him failing is very high. Right. As a teacher, I will be able to make that assessment and that probability factor where who's going to pass versus who's going to fail. The person who is to be held responsible is not the teacher who knows the knowledge, but the responsibility lies upon the student who's not, who has not taken the initiative, hold on, who has not taken the initiative to study. Right, so now how do we move that in contrast to this, the, the story of Iblis? Yes. Right? Now you mentioned that Iblis is eternal. Nowhere in the Quran does it say that Iblis is eternal. What do you mean? No, hold on one second. Nowhere in the Quran right, does it say that Iblis is eternal. You have to prov provide the evidence to demonstrate this. I am saying to you that Iblis is a creation of God. The only person who is eternal is the Creator Himself. Right? That's what Allah says in the Quran. In fact, your Bible says in Psalm chapter 21, He is the ever living to ever living. So we recognize that the Father in your book and Allah is eternal, right? So now what I'm saying, right? When in the Quran, when Allah says, prostrate yourself to Adam, right? It was a command, but it was a command based on what? He had free will, right? He had a chance to obey or disobey because this is what God has instilled in the jinn okay. creation. No, 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 brother, please. I really need I'm to. Listening. I'm I listening. need to because if you cut me off, you're going to misunderstand me, right? So with human beings, God has given us the ability of free will. Just like the jinn and Iblis had that opportunity of what? Free will. It was a choice. Now, Allah knew in his knowledge because Allah has knowledge of what? The past, present and future, right? God is self-subsisting, right? His knowledge and his attributes are what? Eternal, right? So God knows what the future is going to be. Now, just because Iblis decided by choice to disobey God and not prostrate, it doesn't mean that God didn't have that knowledge, right? What it means, it's just like the teacher that I was giving you the example of, the teacher knows that the student is going to fail because what? He wasn't studying versus the student who is studious and he's going to pass. The teacher knows that knowledge. Why? Because of his attentiveness. But remember, in the Quran, what does Allah say? God is not like, God is not like our creation. He's different. So God's knowledge is eternal. It's not like our limited finite knowledge, right? right? So Iblis had a choice to prostrate. Now, if God decides to question Iblis, right? If God decides to question Iblis, 
Jesus, I'm sorry, I keep saying Jesus. Okay. Iblis is actually building a rod for his own back. And I'll tell you why. Because when Allah is questioning Jesus, question if please stop the laugh. <laughs> I know. Do you know what? Tired. I think I'm getting tired, tired and I'm speaking too long. I'm speaking too long. You're in the hot seat. Yeah. Hot seat, bro. Right. So, on the day of judgment, right, we believe that God will question us all, including Iblis and including us, right? Just because Allah decides to question us on the day of judgment, it doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't know what we've done in our earthly life. He's questioning us because we are building a rod for our own back, right? He's going to question us, well, did you do so and so and so and so? And we can say, well, yes or no. And well, okay. God, because God knows the, the, the unseen and the future, he was going to say, well, you didn't do so and so because I was watching you, right? And the reason why God will question us is that we don't have no excuse on the day of judgment. God is so merciful. He wouldn't just throw us into hellfire. He will question our actions, Correct. right? Why did you decide to go into the club and commit fornication? Why did you decide to kill that individual? Because we remember, we all have choices, right? If you decide to murder someone, that's your choice. But you're taking the wrong choice. Just like Iblis took the wrong choice right. in not prostrating to Adam when God told him to. Okay, right. let's, let's so, go back. I so, want to go back a little bit. Okay. Because one has, to, time, right? one, one has to keep up. <laughs> one, one, I am. I've been one, here all day since. Yes, I hear you, I hear you, I saw you. Yeah. What, when, when I say to you that Iblis has eternal nature, meaning he's not in a mortal state, okay? He doesn't die, therefore, it's the same Iblis of, of your no, ancestors, my ancestors, and so on. It's a heavenly manifest, or it's a spirit, let's call it, a spiritual manifestation, which doesn't come to pass, and, it, and is in a human consciousness for, for thousands of years. So, one has to understand when I speak eternal, meaning that something that, that already has already manifestation which I can recognize, just like just like Angel Gabriel can be recognized for who he is or what it is. Let's put it this way: we have to we recognize Iblis for what it is. Therefore, there's already fixed state in that particular being because that's the way we recognize for what it is. It doesn't mean you cannot disguise yourself and, and let's say be deceitful, deceitful. However, there is still the ways of that particular being in which human being has to be aware of so that doesn't go astray from the uh, path towards God. Nevertheless, it's already, uh, it's not like there's no identity to it. Identity is well known to it. Okay. Now, well, would you agree? Would you no, agree no, with that? No, no, I disagree. I'll tell you why. Okay. I disagree, right? Because personally, I think, right, we've, we've done actually a... Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. We, we shifted from talking about the Bible, right? And we started talking about Iblis, right? Which I'm more than happy to answer. No, but I, the, point I, was, the point was, I was trying to... My original point was to show you, yeah. again, that unknowing what unknown means it, it, just like I was, I spoke to you about the uh, the book of Job, when uh, when Iblis or Satan or whatever uh, put uh, Job to a test and God permitted that, and according to you, uh, why would God uh, do such a thing? Why would why would God agree to say, yeah, God put him to test? God already knew Job would be faithful to him, he would not betray him, and yet it was something was permitted to be done to a human being. Uh, to an actual human being, yeah. to put this, even God Himself will actually know that Job will remain faithful to Him. Okay, in the end, we have a doubt and we'll break down, and that's when the manifestation of God again will manifest uh, to Job. But the point I'm trying to make is what you're saying is so, there will never be a need for unknown, and yet unknown exists in the unknown exists also in the divine, just like exists well, here. I, I asked you, remember at the beginning of this conversation we were speaking about the Jesus hour. not knowing the hour, yes. right? Yes. I've already I think we're going around in yeah, circles. No, so I'm showing you three so, different parts in which the unknown exists in the divine. I personally I tell you what you what I feel that you're doing right now, right? You are prov you, the, the explanations that you are given yeah. does not conform to the entirety of the New Testament, right? This is why I was saying to you, you're doing eisegesis, right? You are providing an ex your, ex your extreme eisegesis, <laughs> yeah. whereby you are given an explanation Magical. that doesn't completely exist in the text whatsoever, <laughs> right? I've explained to you. Okay. To your on, knowledge. No, hold on one to second. To your knowledge. I've quoted you yeah. verbatim. 
the words of the Bible itself, yes. where Jesus says, the only one who knows the hour is the Father, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You insisted, despite the fact that Jesus said that I don't know, you are still insisting yeah. that Jesus knew the hour. No, I didn't say that. You did? No. Yeah. Well, you I, did? You did, did, did? No, no, just a yeah. moment. Why are we arguing just a moment. What I'm saying to you... Because that, that means we will have no argument. The argument will be case closed. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> wait, wait. What, what, I was, what I was saying to you, again, there was, there was a confusion, just to make it clear. I spoke about Jesus knew about his upcoming crucifixion. No, no, no. Yes. That's not, I'm not talking about the crucifixion. But that's what I was I'm, referring to. Okay. Oh, that's not the context. No, no, I'm talking about the when Jesus said about the last of, the, judgment. of the last judgment, he yes. says he doesn't know. Yes. And not even the son, he includes himself. Yes. So Jesus clearly says that the father knows this knowledge. No one else. No one so that excludes Jesus being God. That's, that's by no means. But is God or no? Does God, does God, okay. By no means. God, God would say, God would say, when upon, upon, upon the baptism of Jesus, the, uh, the, the voice of, of heaven, from heaven was, this is my son with whom I'm pleased. Therefore, 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 therefore uh, yes, uh, Jesus was doing the work of, of his father. And no, no, only, no, no, brother, and yeah. whatever is reserved, whatever is reserved for the father is reserved for the father. Glory, is a reserve for the Father. I totally understand. And yeah, worship is a, is, a, is a reserve for the Father. I understand. Well, no, you're not however, you, you however, however, in the same, however, in the same Bible, in the same Bible, in the same Bible, it speaks. It's probably yeah. a venue so in which, in which, in which one goes to God. That that's the whole point, brother. I feel. Yeah. I feel. It's nice speaking to you. Okay. Okay. It's okay. nice speaking to you. But I just feel that you haven't addressed my, my yeah. point, you know? Perhaps I did not address your need, and, and which is Maybe fine. next time we can have this discussion. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. But it was a pleasure speaking to Likewise. you. Likewise. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahir Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalam ala Rasulil Kareem. I spoke to this gentleman here. Um, personally, I don't think he addressed any of the questions I asked. Um, I asked, I spoke to him about the hour. He says he doesn't know, you know, I, I quoted Matthew chapter 24, where Jesus says, of that day of the hour knows no man, only the Father knows the hour. Hamza, you know the guy you're speaking to, he's Gnostic. He's a Gnostic, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> subhanallah, yeah. So, I him before. Not, the Christians will consider him a heretic. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I think he is. Anyway, so it's come to my understanding that he was a Gnostic Christian. And that's the reason why he wasn't making no sense whatsoever. So that's the reason why I decided to pull out the conversation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open his eyes and guide him. Oh my God, I'm tired.